Hello and welcome to Innate Chiropractic of Manhattan's video blog where in just a couple minutes a day we're going to be educating your mind and empowering your body to become healthy. Today's topic, diet diaries and exercise logs. Okay, I use this as a tool with patients all the time and what I wanted to do today was basically show you what a typical day of Dr. Pikin's eating habits, exercise habits are. Okay, so here we are. It's the, the, the log is right here. Uh, there are plenty of these that you can find online. Uh, I use this one right now. We have a couple of versions that we use in our office to track our patient's progress. So it starts off with wake up. Wake up 5, 10 a.m. and I do a 10 minute trainer. Basically, I don't have an hour a day to exercise, so at least uh, just four or five times a week, I do a 10 minute of intense exercise to get the blood flowing, to get the muscles moving and to start your day better, okay? Next, morning food at 525, eight cashews. That's it, you don't need much to have a breakfast. You just grab a handful of something, pop it in your mouth. It's great to have a little, at least a little bit of protein after a workout. Cashews aren't the best source of protein. Uh, they're mostly fat, but it's something. It keeps your blood sugar level, okay? Uh, 6.30 a.m., coffee on the way to work. A little coffee is okay for your body. Too much coffee throughout the day, I think, can cause problems. 6.40 a.m., a high fiber cereal. Uh, there's another blog post that we'll have up that discusses which cereal I have, but the high fiber means six to eight grams of fiber as a minimum. 10 would even be better. 14 is best. It's sometimes what you have to look out for for fiber is as you go higher and higher with the fiber content, the sugar also goes up. So what this cereal that I used uh, yesterday was six grams of fiber per serving, but the sugars are really low. All right, next, at 10.30 a.m., just a few hours later, I had an Ultra Inflamex shake. It's a meal replacement that I use in my office all the time that works on digestive health, that works on giving me a multivitamin and a full meal replacement, with, which is high in quality and very low in calories. Next, 2.30 p.m., salad. It's great to put in a salad just about every single day of your life. At least a third of your dietary intake of food should be raw. Raw foods give you a lot of good nutrients, a lot of good enzymes, and in this salad I have a lot of different colors in there. It's not just lettuce. There's lettuce, there's cucumbers, there's carrots, there's red peppers, there's beans. Uh, you want to have a light, nice big variety in your salad to make sure you're getting lots of different servings of vegetables in there. Snack time, which was around four o'clock, uh, I had another little handful of pumpkin seeds. Raw organic pumpkin seeds are a great extra snack. More fiber, more protein, a little healthy fat, and pumpkin seeds especially are healthy for males because uh, the oils are really good for the prostate. Next, when I get home at the evening meal, which is nine o'clock, not the optimum time, but it's when I did eat, was turkey burgers without the bun, just plain old turkey patties fried up really quickly with roasted Brussels sprouts. That's really the day's worth of food. The only thing I'll mention is I also had about 50 ounces of water. I have a 40 ounce water that I had on my way home and another 10 ounces throughout the day uh, just drinking when I was thirsty. So hope that helps, gives you some info on what a healthy diet could be like and how simple and easy it is to try to eat five times a day, which is a lot healthier than skipping meals and having one or two or three meals a day. Uh, and uh, that's just what I ate today. If you want more info about our office and how we can help you, check out our website at www.innatechiro.com. Have a great day.